I started this fragrance collection about 10 months ago with the initial concept of a dark line that was the polar opposite of our current Santa Lucia lineup, all of it inspired by New York City. So I started this by creating a mood board per scent, trying to figure out or pinpoint what I wanted you to feel, what type of emotion I wanted your olfactory bulb to set off. And I came down to three fragrances, Asavache, Love, and Gala. Let's make up a fictional character. Let's call this man John Smith. John Smith, he has money. He hangs out with other people that have money. The problem is that when you start hanging around these people, they seem to be your friend, when in reality, they're praying for your downfall. This is why I called the first fragrance Asavache. This is a black gemstone that in my country is worn to protect against el mal de ojo or evil eye that others get when they envy you. With rich tobacco notes and coffee notes, the fragrance opens up with a smoky, almost cigar-like scent as if you just stepped out of a cigar room. Then the smokiness starts to fade and that's when you start to experience the rich rum notes. So you end up with that dark aroma. Let's take John Smith again. See, John Smith, the same guy, he understands that love isn't a happily ever after. He understands love, it's transactional to him. He understands that women are around him because they want him for his money. And he wants women for their attention and their company. The scent opens up with these musty, woody notes, almost to give you a feel as if you're in the 1920 style prohibition speakeasy. The truth is that John Smith, he's just looking for a fun time. That's when those wooden notes start to fade and out comes the Rose Absolute and the Neroli, leaving you with a feminine aroma, acting almost as social proof that women are always around you. You see, the parties that John Smith attends, the events that he goes to, these are all wealth generating opportunities for him. This is why for this one, I wanna take your olfactory palette more to the aromatic side, filled with luxurious oils, all sourced from France. So every time you spray it, it's almost as if you've elevated tax brackets. And these three scents are exactly what I wanted to achieve.